Sometimes I'm accused of ad-libbing too much. For the next award, I'm not going to ad-lib. I've got a script which I'm going to read. And while I'm reading that script, can members of the West Midlands Fire Service who wish to come up and receive the award on behalf of their colleague who has fallen during a charity fundraiser, please come up. So, Wayne, you've got no choice, but others choose whoever. You can all come up because West Midlands Fire Service have, uh, have our special recognition for our shining light. So I'm going to read this in full. We are gathered here tonight to present a special achievement award to a truly remarkable individual, Ian Hughes, from West Midlands Fire Service. Ian inspired a story and a remarkable fundraising effort. He has left an indelible mark on all of us. His determination and selfish commitment to help others. Ian remains a trusted and approachable colleague, always ready to lead and a helping hand. His infectious smile and calming presence brought comfort to those around him whether it be during an emergency incident as a member of the crew while making critical tactical decisions, Ian's care and compassion was unparalleled. But his humour is what will carry on and live with us forever. Beyond his professional life, Ian dedicated himself to coaching his son's rugby team, a testament to his unwavering comment, commitment to his family, he spoke with great pride about his wife and his children, considered himself privileged to be a part of their lives. Ian's love for his family was immeasurable, and happiness meant everything to him. Typically, in June 2023, Ian responded, reported, was reported missing. His courage endeavor to swim the English Channel for charity Ian's passing has left a void in the hearts of his, his, his loved ones, his colleagues and his friends. However, his memory lives on. As the spirit of his selfless mission has captivated countless hearts and inspired an outpouring of generosity, donations for his fundraising page rapidly increased, suppressed all expectations, raising well over £80,000 including an astonishing £20,000 collected by colleagues who organised a series of charity car washes in the honour of Ian's dedication. Tonight, we honour Ian, not only for his incredible, inspiring attempts to conquer the channel, but also for his unwavering dedication to charities, his passion, his support. Throughout his training for Solo Swim, Ian had hoped to raise £21,000 for three remarkable causes. The Midland Air Ambulance, British Heart Foundation and the Firefighters Charity. Throughout his unyielding determination, Ian's mission gathered significant efforts and support, allowing those organisations to continue to mark their work. May his resilience, compassion and unwavering spirit for charity live on. We, as AFSA, will continue to support the Firefighters Charity in the name of Ian Hughes. Can we all stand and applaud? One minute's applause for Ian's dedication.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, on behalf of West Midlands Fire Service, I, I won't go through uh, the story. Jagtar's just gone through the story. I, what I'd like to do is, is recognise a special, special person uh, and a truly remarkable colleague and friend to people on this stage um, and to people in our service. Last week, we held a reward and recognition event. It's an annual event. Um, we posthumously awarded Ian the Making a Difference Award. Uh, and from next year onwards, it will be called the Ian Hughes Making a Difference Award. Um, there are members of our fire authority here today. I've got some of my amazing team here today. Um, on behalf of Ian's wife, Melanie, uh, his son, Grayson, and his daughter, Eden, who I've got to know, obviously, tragically, over the last six months. Um, I know they're extremely proud of his achievements. We are extremely proud of his achievements. Uh, as I said, a special man, a huge character that leaves a massive void within our service and gave his life selflessly trying to raise money for others. So uh, really, really delighted that whilst he has gone um, and we've lost a, a friend and a colleague, he continues to support the firefighters charity Midlands Air Ambulance and the British Heart Foundation, and as Jagtar said, has raised over £80,000, 20000 of which was raised by West Midlands Fire Service staff in terms of car washes and different events like that. So uh, I'm humbled and honoured to be here to receive the award on behalf of Ian, on behalf of Melanie, Grayson and Eden, and I will be taking this back so they can obviously keep that as part of their treasured memories of a truly treasured colleague. So just on behalf of West Midlands Fire Service, thank you to all the colleagues in the room and around the UK that have supported our service, have individually contacted me and colleagues behind me. Your love, your care has been greatly appreciated and we know, and I've passed all the messages on to Melody and the kids, they greatly appreciate it as well. So on behalf of us, just a big thank you to you. Thank you, everyone.